Have you ever wondered why KGB in the film Rounders puts his Oreos in a chip tray? It's very simple. The troughs that the Oreos sit in are completely obscured and inaccessible. Even the most slender feminine fingers in the world, like James Corden. James Corden's fingers couldn't get these Oreos out. Only an executive with a heart of ash and malice and Donald Trump's toenails could ever think of something so heinous. Let's take something mouthwateringly delicious and let's wrap it in the tomb of Ramsey and then sell it to the public at Walmart. Who does something like that? Luckily, however, the manufacturers of the chips, the Rounders chips, actually have a heart made out of heart stuff. The ceramic Rounders chips are not made of something soft and squishy and muscly. They are in fact made out of plastic, even though they are called ceramics. And before we continue, quick sales pitch to you today. Special deal. Last time I checked, these are in very short supply. You should stop what you're doing right now and go and order the, go and, hang on a second, you're watching this video. Don't stop what you're doing at the moment. After the video, read the description and click on the link that says rounders dealer button and go buy these before they're sold out. These are not going to last long. They may make some more, but needless to say, if you want some of these before Christmas, that's when we're filming. This is the holiday season here, 2017. Stop the presses and go get one of these. Awesome. Even if you're not going to get a set of rounders chips, this dealer button <laughs> is a great conversation. Where were we? Oh yeah. Okay. So I've already made a video do not touch X. Put some Oreos in there, chip tray. The classic poker chips company is the company that made the actual props that they used in rounders. These are these chips are made out of the same material, the same shiny little brass flakes right here. These are amazing. Problem, expensive. Made a review about these, go check it out if you want. The ceramics, however, are much cheaper and they actually sound different. Let's do a sound test while we're at it. Not sure if that's helping. Either way, I these if you don't want a whole set of these, get a sample set at least. They're absolutely lovely. And I can tell you right now that these ceramics will meet your needs as far as a playable set. They have lovely denominations. Look, 25 cent stock. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Some things to be aware of. You want to know that it may be several weeks before you get these. These are made to order often, almost always, but you never know. But generally, you're going to be waiting several weeks to get these. Be aware of that. That's just part of the ceramics game. If you want to get ceramics, they're going to be manufactured. It's a hard plastic. Now, let's see if we can find the dimples here. Um, it's a hard plastic that they use a process called dye sublimation where they dye the plastic. Can you see the dimple right here? It's like an injection port right here where they injection mold the hard blank and then they print for lack of a better word the dye sublimation process um onto the chip people describe it i think it was in poker chip forum where i was reading somebody described it as think of it more like a heat transfer like on a shirt than like printing but you know whatever as far as manufacturing goes however they make them they make them they're ceramics they're hard you're probably going to want to pay for edge spot alignment I don't remember if it was these in particular, but generally it costs extra for edge spot alignment. If it's just built into the cost, so be it. They're going to be a little bit more expensive than just your bog standard uh, ceramics. Uh, we have some scrolls here as an example. These are going to be more expensive than these, generally speaking. Don't get ripped, <laughs> don't get ripped off by an expensive set of scroll ceramics. Um, so real quick, trying to keep this short. Would I recommend these? Yes, I would recommend these for people who want a playable set that's in their price range. These are also very playable, but they're just a little bit more expensive. And if your friends are the kind of people who like to throw chips, uh, step on chips, they're kind of careless, uh, these might be the way to go, just so you're not 
giving, you're not throwing um, pearls to bears. Is that the right analogy? Whatever. However it goes, you're not, you're not destroying something valuable. So I would absolutely recommend this. If you do get these, I would also get the Steeler button and I would get a sample set of the CPC, the classic poker chip rounders, just a sample set, just so you can see the difference there. It's really quite noticeable. I always recommend getting samples before you purchase them. If you think, if you're just considering and you can afford them both, get a sample set of both and then make your decision. These are some of the nicest poker chips, hands down, made today. Absolutely lovely. There you have it. Yes, buy these. If you like them, buy them. Personally, I still like the Tiki Kings more. I feel like I'm making my own memories and telling my own story rather than um, playing back a story that's already been told. But man, that KGB... <laughs> Such such a good movie, Rounders. Uh, influenced a lot of people for good. For for poker. Good for poker, as they say. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby. Check out the description. Be sure to get one of these pucks. Definitely get sample sets of both of these if you're a Rounders fan. And party on, dudes!